Lost City of Giants in Ecuador. The discovery of the Lost City of Giants is one of the most incredible discoveries in recent years. It is also one of the many ancient sites that according to mainstream scholars is not important. It is believed that the discovery of the Lost City of Giants in Ecuador is one of the most important discoveries of the 21st century. But not only is this incredible discovery of great importance, it is one of the many findings that have been omitted by mainstream researchers around the globe. Ancient legends in Ecuador speak of a time when there were giants walking on Earth, and where these beings created huge megalithic cities that have now been consumed by nature. Here, we take a closer look at this incredible finding by going through the most important details about this enigmatic megalithic city, a legend that turned into reality. Even before discovering the ancient megalithic city, many local legends spoke of a time when incredible giant beings inhabited the remote region of Ecuador. These giants created megalithic sites, and this ancient city is just one of the many that are located in the region. In order to find the lost city of giants, a group of explorers teamed up with the locals who were well aware and knew that this ancient city was, in fact, real. The aboriginals led the group of explorers to the site they consider is truly holy, and local tribes gathered at the City of Giants to celebrate powerful spirits which, according to legend, still inhabited the megalithic site. According to reports, when the group of researchers arrived at the lost City of Giants, they discovered a set of megalithic structures. The largest was a 260-foot tall by 260-foot wide pyramid with an irregular angle. The huge pyramidal shaped structure is believed to have been made by huge boulders weighing no less than two tons. Located on the top of the pyramid is a flat, polished stone, which is believed to have been used as ceremonial or sacrificial stand. It looks like a paved wall, an ancient street or plaza with a 60 degrees angle, perhaps the roof of a large structure, said French-American archaeologist Benoit de Vernoul. Many of the stones were perfectly aligned, have sharp edges, and seem to have been sculpted by human hands. According to the group of researchers who discovered the enigmatic giant pyramid, the structure's body was apparently covered by lichen, even though the remaining visible boulders revealed a thick layer of impenetrable material that held the stones together. Many believe that this mysterious material is evidence of the first concrete-like material used in Mesoamerica. However, the structures found at the City of Giants weren't the most impressive discoveries. According to archaeologists, the most important discoveries made at the site were the oversized and odd manufactured tools which remained on the site for an incalculable time, blending in with nature. The size of the tools would make it impossible for humans to use them. According to Bruce Fenton, writer, researcher and member of the team that found this presumed city of giants. This is the ultimate evidence that proves giants inhabited Earth in the distant past and built incredible cities and structures. What really strongly points towards this habitation having housed the same race of giants, if the presence of extremely oversized hammers, or at least the stone hammerheads, he said, assuming there were attached to hardwood handles, they would be both incredible size and weight, making their use as tools impractical. For a typical Inca or indigenous Indian, these beings were generally around five feet or so. Mainstream scholars believe the city is non-existent. Interestingly, despite the numerous discoveries, in 2013, when the Ecuadorian Ministry of Culture sent their representatives to investigate the lost city of giants, they concluded that the pyramid-shaped building was nothing more than a natural formation. However, Fenton and his team believe the intricate boulders, the complex pattern, and their fine assembly are clear indications that the enigmatic lost city of giants is not a natural formation, but one of the best pieces of evidence that support the theory that in the distant past, giants walked on Earth. Look at these obvious, giant-sized footprints in the rock. I used some basic mud skills on the first image. 
the big toe is three times wider than the person doing the comparison. Does this correspond to the giant who made the impression being 17 to 18 feet tall and a rough weight of 1,700 pounds? I used some basic mud skills on the second image. The big toe is 2.33 times longer than the person doing the comparison. Does this correspond to the giant who made the impression being 13 to 14 feet tall and a rough weight of 1,000 pounds? I used some basic mud skills on the third image. If this is a hand tool that is to be used with one hand, the user's hand would have to be at least three times the size to use it. Does this correspond to a giant who could use the tool being 17 to 18 feet tall and a rough weight of 1,700 pounds? Source, reposted and summarized from Ivan Petrasevic at Project Yourself. My take, it's a really interesting discovery and not very many people are talking about this. Don't forget to sign up for our Patreon page. Members get early access to videos, ad-free, and you can see content you can't see anywhere else.